keeping an eye on imaging. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack Cardiovascular Imaging. Hello, I'm Leslie Shaw, Professor of Medicine at Emory University and Associate Editor at Jack Imaging. We're here in New Orleans for the ACC's annual meeting, and I'm joined today by two esteemed colleagues. To my right is Dr. Christopher Kramer from University of Virginia, also an associate editor at Jack Imaging, and Dr. Raymond Kwong from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. Good, you know, good afternoon. Hello to both of you. And we're here to talk about gender equity in cardiovascular imaging, and you have some interesting results to share with us today, Dr. Kwong. Maybe Thank you could tell us a little bit about your study. So this was a study conducted at, uh, at the Brigham and Women's Hospital uh, a number of years ago, and uh, we had uh, started a uh, stress cardiac MRI program a number of years ago, and since then we collected uh, information about prognostic information of patients who were referred to us for assessment of ischemia, uh, and we assessed spe specifically, look, wanted to know uh, whether cardiac MRI can be an effective tool in looking at the prognosis of uh, female patients. And specifically wanted to know if there's a difference between the gender being a modifying factor. Um, at the end of the study, after a number of years of follow-up, uh, we focus on uh, sort of heart events or non-transportable uh, non events such as cardiac death and uh, myocardial infarction. We found that um, the findings of MRI were uh, fairly effective in uh, determining the patients or predicting the patient's uh, long-term outcome in developing these events. But more importantly, most, most interestingly, was that cardiac MRI was an effective tool when it's negative that patients were very unlikely to have a, a significant event such as uh, cardiac, uh, cardiac death or hmm. a myocardial infarction. Interesting. And, and, and Ray, you were using uh, uh, denosine uh, vasodilator uh, perfusion MR imaging. Uh, how do you see this as uh, relating to the alternative modality of, of stressing with cardiac MR, dobutamine stress MR? Yeah, as Chris, as you pointed out, there is um, uh, other group. There are other groups, and there are papers in the literature that show that dobutamine cardiac MRI is a very, very viable uh, stress cardiac MRI modality. And there's also similar data that show that uh, dobutamine cardiac MRI can effectively risk stratify female patients. Um, I think this study is complementary to uh, the uh, Hunley's group data uh, that show dobutamine's prognostic significance. I think uh, stress cardiac MRI using uh, vasodilata vasodilatation such as adenosine is uh, somewhat easier to use on a technical level. Uh, and uh, it's uh, potentially uh, maybe on the, on the stress uh, medic medication level is, uh, is uh, associated with uh, fewer side effects. Uh, but I think both modalities are uh, very useful. They're very safe overall. Uh, and I think this shows that there are, war there are more than one choices when it, when, when it comes to stress uh, imaging. And often we can choose um, depending on what fits the patient's profile best. This is really exciting. It's exciting news. It's exciting news for uh, because of the, a lot of historic perceptions that all of our imaging modalities don't work very well in women. But now we've had data on stress echo, now we've had data on stress nuclear, and now in a growing abundance of data that all of our conventional modalities work very well in risk stratifying women. I think that has far-reaching implications for our audience listening here today, for us today. And maybe you could comment on some of the strengths of cardiovascular MR, independent of wall motion, independent of perfusion, that also I think may make it very advantageous uh, for our listeners. Yeah. That's a very important point, Leslie. Um, so um, some of the advantages of cardiac MRI, uh, historically, maybe I should take a step back, imaging women's heart is challenging because of a smaller size heart, and so it's a little bit more demanding on spatial, spatial resolution mm -hmm. limitation. Uh, women also tend to have higher tendency to have tissue attenuation, so make uh, uh, techniques such as nuclear techniques somewhat more challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, using a regular exercise treadmill tests has been well known to be associated with higher chance of false positivity in women. So those choices, those issues, 
make uh, imaging of women somewhat more challenging. The benefit of MR on a technical level is the, is the fact that it does not use radiation, so compared to nuclear imaging, is a potential advantage. It does not, um, it, it has higher spatial resolution. It can image uh, infarction and perfusion separately. So with the higher spatial resolution, one per can conceivably think that uh, MRI can detect a uh, higher degree or uh, a smaller degree of um, myocardial ischemia. Um, so, and the fact that it has, uh, it does not have uh, use of ionizing radiation is specifically potentially advantageous to women. So those are the technical, technical potential advantage of cardiac MRI compared to existing modalities. That's excellent. And I think, do you think those small amounts of ischemia that you're perhaps able to detect may be the, re the reason why you have such a low negative uh, uh, event rate of 0.3%, uh, which is amazingly low compared to the other modalities? Uh, uh, I think the high uh, sensitivity that we notice in detecting coronary disease in, the, in this data set is certainly uh, suggestive of, the, as you said, the high negative event rate, uh, being able to rule out mm. disease, and in this case, have a, have a reassuring uh, profile for the patient is certainly uh, suggestive. The data certainly suggests this is the trend. That's a great take-home message, and I think one that, that we're very exciting, that we're very excited in the field of cardiovascular imaging now to have a number of uh, mo imaging modalities which are highly accurate uh, for not only our male patients but uh, as well from our female patients. So I want to thank you both for joining us here today. This is really a, a clear advancement and in improvements for the effectiveness of cardiovascular imaging for our, our female patients. So thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you.